Hey everybody, so this is day nine of my Vlogmas, and today's question is a little complicated because my friend likes to give me complicated questions. Love you, Jordan. Anyway, so let me read this first. Which would you rather have? A, all the riches you could want but no friends or lasting connections. B, all the love in the world but never having true financial success. C, immortality, knowing you can't die, but you can experience any other experience. Or would you have all three and make them individually explorations? Okay. I forgot what her answer was, but I remember it was not the same that I would have. So I'm going to go through each of them, and then I'll tell you what I guess my top option would be. Um, so one or A, would be all the riches you can have but no friends or lasting connections. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to be rich because even if I won't have any friends or lasting connections, the positive side of this that I would probably do would um, be to help everybody even if they hate me because apparently this part of it is you have no friends. Um, I'll have all the riches, but I'll be able to do whatever I want with them, so I'd probably give them out to people who need them, or organizations who need them, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I can see the positive side of this. I don't really care if people like me, as long as I'm helping them. Actually, that's, that's what I do anyway. So, But if I have all the riches in the world, I can give them money. So, B, all the love in the world, but never having true financial success. Um, in this case, it's kind of the opposite of the other one. Like, you will be loved and have love, but you wouldn't have any money or true financial success. It doesn't say you won't have money. Um, so, the good part of this is that you have all the love in the world, and sometimes that's better than money. So, um, see immortality, knowing you can't die, but could experience any other experience. Immortality would be amazing. However, it would be very hard to watch everybody around you that you love die if you're out living everybody but it is something that would be interesting because you get to explore more life in general you could have more life experience nothing's holding you back there's no time there's no um deadline for anything except to do it with people who are not immortal um so that one's interesting but to put them in order of what i would choose uh b have all the love in the world but never having true financial success because I would like to be loved. <laughs> that's cheesy. But that's the, the one that I would pick first. Um, see, this is hard because I would, I would pick all of them. I mean, immortality, technically, if I'm immortal, I can actually gain a lot of money. And then technically, actually... Actually, if you think about it, this is where my brain goes. Just follow me for a second. If you're immortal, you can eventually have all the riches in the world, but have no friends or lasting connections because everybody's going to die. So technically, C can be A. So, but in my order would be B, all love in the world, but never having true financial success. C, immortality, knowing you can't die, but can experience any other experience. And then A. All the riches you can have, but no uh, friends or lasting connections. If I'm faced with someone else choosing for me, I can probably make all of them work, but those are the orders I would do. Um, especially because now that I think of it in my mind, C and A can go together, if you think about it. Um, when you're immortal, you have more time to get money. So, there's that. So, yeah, I thought this video would be a lot longer, but I guess I processed it a lot faster than I thought I would. So, I'm going to put this question either, if you're on Facebook, I'll put it on, on um, in the caption, or on, in the comments, sorry, and I'll put it in the link of the video, I mean the description of the video, and on Instagram I'll put it as a comment. Um, so if you want to think about it, you don't have to give me your answer, but if you want to think about it, it's actually a good good thing to think about. And then, let's see, tomorrow... What am I doing with my life right now? If you are any of my close friends, you know that I'm doing way too many things at the same time. And I'm kind of perpetually exhausted. And I have a perpetual migraine. And that's super fun. But anyway, 
um, there's a question that I keep moving down because I have no idea how to answer it, so I'm not going to answer it yet. So, I'm going to look down the list. I think tomorrow... No. I'll just pick a random one. There's some questions that are just so complicated that I feel like I have to think about before answering them, but I kind of want to answer them while I'm talking here because I think that's you can see my thought process and then me talk to myself about it, which I guess is a blog. I mean, a vlog. I am so tired. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, I don't know what question to ask. I guess I'll talk about my business a little bit tomorrow. There's a question, what is your business and why did you start it? I think that's what I will do tomorrow for day 10. But anyways, I am going to redo my to-do list right now because my brain is completely scattered and then probably get some things done. Um, but yeah, have a good Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow.